Well, hey, everyone, this is Bob the Science Guy from Las Vegas, Nevada. You know, I had a twofer yesterday out of Uncle Fester's daily live stream. I want to present the second part today. In the first part, we talked about his circular reasoning when it came to the ISS and why it can't exist because, in his mind, space can't exist. Today, we're going to learn where gas pressure comes from. This is something that we've asked him quite a few times, and I just love his answer for it, and I want to share it with you. So why do we have air pressure down low, and then when we go up to, like, airplane cruising altitude, the pressure is, like, you know, 2% of what it is at sea level? Wouldn't, that, wouldn't all the pressure rush up? Sea level? Sorry, what do you mean, wouldn't all the pressure rush, rush up? It does. You can breathe at Everest because the gas that's formed at ground level has made its way, made its way away from the surface to go up there. It's not very much vegetation producing gas at the top of Everest. Where do you think it came from? It went up, didn't it? I was saying airplane altitude. Yeah, it's going up. Gas is expanding in all directions away from the surface where it's produced. Up, away from the surface. But we're at pressure, meaning that it's got to come back down again. Well, if there was a sky vacuum, it wouldn't come back down again and form pressure. That's my point. So why gas does anything is irrelevant. I'm not making any claims about it. I'm debunking the idea that we need to discuss the ISS. Stage show. We don't. It's claimed to be in a sky vacuum. If the sky was a vacuum, 10 to the minus 17, 17. tall, like his claim the ISS is in, we'd all be dead. We wouldn't have any pressure. You said it has to come back down again, but I thought gases didn't have a directional bias, Nathan. A gas moves in whatever direction it's traveling in unless it collides with something else. So there you have it. Gas pressure and our pressure gradient comes from oxygen and gases released from plants at the surface and then dissipating towards the dome, I guess. Except for one minor problem. Why don't you go ahead and look up the chemical equation for photosynthesis? Interesting thing about it. Six carbon dioxides go in, six oxygens come out. That's six in, six out. That would be a net gain of zero, Uncle Fester. So once again, this is Bob the Science Guy with your daily Uncle Fester physics joke. See you again later. Take care, guys.